magbabalik ngayong weekend ng aksyon ng UAP Women's Volleyball at importante ang mga laro sa Sabado at Linggo dahil ito na ang simula ng second round of eliminations. Sa Linggo, magkatapat ang defending champions at Ateneo Lady Eagles at ang kapitbahay nila na University of the Philippines Lady Maroons. Galing sa talo ang Ateneo, kaya determinado silang makabawi habang susubukan naman ng UP na masundan ang kanilang panalo noong nakarang linggo. Sa Sabado naman, tatangkain ng De La Salle Lady Spikers uh, na maibaon ang mapaitatalo nila kontra sa UST noong Merkules. Makatapat ng La Salle sa kanilang unang laro sa second round ng Far Eastern University Lady Tamaraws na gusto naman makabawi sa talo nila sa La Salle noong first round. Gaganapin ang mga laro sa Phil Oil Arena sa San Juan at mapapanood din ng live dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. For an assessment of the performances of the eight UAP women's volleyball teams matapos ang round one ng tournament, kasama natin ang sasang mga analyst ng UAP volleyball, Eric Tipan. Eric, welcome back to the score. Hi, pleasure. All right, let's break this down. Uh, lamang pa rin ang Ateneo at the yeah. top of standing, 6-1. And then you got a jam-packed middle there. Very uh, interesting race there for the final four. Unay muna natin ang UAE, although 0-7 sila. Mm -hmm. Nabanggit mo na kanina, you've seen some improvement in them yeah. this season. Very so slightly. It's it's just because na baon sila. All of the other teams have improved vastly. Yon, okay. But the see coach Francis Vicente has gotten really good pieces, mm -hmm. and uh, he mentioned before na he's got some other players at Team B who are preparing for next season. Tall, okay. athletic players, so they're in good shape. I mean, zero and seven obviously mm -hmm. is is not good in terms of standings, right. but in terms of learning. They're, they're on their way to a better season for sure. In and they're more competitive now. Yeah. Okay. All right. N next up there, Tabla Tabla. Mm -hmm. You have NU, USC, Adamson, Lahat can 3 4. Yep. And they're all just, you know, that one game behind as well uh, to fight for the final four slot. So let's start with Adamson. Um, what have you seen from Adamson this year? What's doing better for them? Well, Adamson, they, they've had a lot of holes at Depensa, unlike okay. before. That's That was one of their strong suits, but not so much this year. Mm -hmm. They've shown uh, brilliance defensively, but not on a, a consistent basis. They've okay. lost some games they should have won. They mm -hmm. were tight in games that they should have had an advantage. Okay, so, so that's well. why they put themselves in that situation. But okay. they've, they've shown that they have the capacity to, to compete. Mm -hmm. That brilliant uh, comeback down two sets against FU is an example of okay. how good they can be mm -hmm. in season 78. So second round, they're, they're going to adjust, they're going to be better. So they can mount on wins yeah. like that, that they've done really, really well. Okay, um, NU, I'm sure Coach Roger, uh, he said it himself, he's disappointed with mm -hmm. the way the team is at 3-4 and four now. They, they they think higher of themselves, yeah. obviously. Anong nagiging hamon para kay Coach Roger with NU and why are they only 3-4? and four? Well, he's been talking about internal troubles of the team after their last Actually, their loss mm -hmm. um, against, uh, against USD. Okay. He spoke about uh, the, a brewing internal trouble he wouldn't specify. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, Which is strangely honest for him to begin with, yeah. to bring that up. Uh -oh. yes. And then they lost to um, uh, FEU okay. as well in three sets. So mm -hmm. that's surprising because they're a team that beat La Salle. You know, eh? and, oh. and a lot of people expected that they were on their way. And up. that was supposed to be a statement win for them. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. And, and then all of a sudden, these two losses that they couldn't explain. So mm -hmm. they're up and down yeah. as always. And has always been like that. It's been the knack mm -hmm. uh, of, of the team. It, even with uh, Dindin Santiago before, Dalawang Malalaki, Magkapatid Santiago Sisters, mm -hmm. they couldn't really maximize. Pero, and they, it seems that they still can't maximize right. Jaja this season. But medyo head scratcher niyan kasi this is the season na. Uh, Medyo mas matagal yung paghahanda nila with Coach mm -hmm. Roger kasi last exactly. year he came in mid-season. Mid that's right. The understandable, pero ngayon buong taon na siya nakapaghanda yeah. and yet ito yung kanilang exactly. struggles pa rin yeah. sa inyo. And they're a talented team, ah. don't, don't mm. get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, they, oh. They've got really they're good uh, players Correct. and that's why it's puzzling. They got all athletic players and it's puzzling why mm. they can't string up a series of games together. Well, probably as well. I said, gumaling din yung iba mga teams. So it's true. not always about them. Meron din kalaban sa kabilang side mm -hmm. ng net. Okay, uh, UST naman. They're three and four, but they've had some big wins. The, the most recent, of course, was the sweep against the Sal. Yep. That was a good way to end the first round for them. Pero EJ Laure, Cherry Rundina, how good have they been playing? That could be something they can mount on in the second round. Well, Cherry Rundina, she's not much of a surprise. From last year, mm. because she was coming off the bench, hindi masyado yung, um, in terms of her exposure. But mm. this year, 
starting six already. She's really blossomed into the mm -hmm. player that you know a lot of people expect her to be. Number one in scoring in the UAAP, leading the way ahead of Eliza Valdez. Right, yeah. So uh, it, they, they can be much better. Walalan si Pam Rastimosa, obviously, for the rest of the season because of an ACL injury. Lang, but oh. if they had her, they would have they would have been solid. But right now, after that win against La Salle, they, they, you know, they've shown, right. they're also showing the rest of the league that second round is coming up and we're ready. And that's their statement win to come into the second round. So good momentum boost for them. Okay, next up, uh, tied for uh, third and fourth in FEU and UP. Mm -hmm. Unayin na natin UP. They had that big win that yeah. same weekend uh, that they in La Salle and they beat UC naman. Kamusta naman ang UP this season? Uh, they have a lot of expectations then. Mm -hmm. Ngayon na healthy yung lineup nila, intact na sila. Yeah. Kamusta well, ang UP so far? Uh, they're doing pretty well. Um, si Coach Jerry, um, he he uh, he's just I guess uh, pragmatic about mm. it. He doesn't want to um, say that he's he's satisfied with the performance. Mm -hmm. he, he expects a lot more because the team can deliver a lot more. You've got Kathy Bersola, Tiamzon, you've got Carlos, you've got uh, so Molde. There's a lot of talent in that team, mm -hmm. and they're so young. So that's why Yo, they have so much potential, yeah. and they they beat Lasal. So they show that they're really. On the rise. So, hindi to surprise for Maroon. them to Not be up all. there. They're at four and three. Okay. FEU, na bangit mo kanina, they the ones who beat NU. So, imagine that could have been either or. It could be mm -hmm. FEU at three and four and NU yes. at four and three. But obviously, the Tamras are the ones with the winning record after the first round. Um, gano kalaking bagay yun for them to beat NU and to be there in the upper four right now? It's it's huge, definitely. Coach Jack De Los Santos has, has been able to maintain a consistency mm -hmm. sa FEU. Okay. And uh, throughout the years, I guess, that that uh, rich volleyball heritage in Tamaraos, mm -hmm. it's been ingrained with the girls, despite not having um, you know, yung, yung usual names from years before, mm -hmm. they still have maintained that quality of performance that you expect from the Lady Tamaraos. And, and they're doing pretty well at four and three. Yep. They're at pace to stay at the top four with, mm -hmm. the way, with the way things are going. Correct. And then, of course, they're not so far behind La Salle. It's only mm -hmm. five and two, one game behind again. And, of course, La Salle would have loved to finish it at yeah. six and one to tie Ateneo, but they dropped that uh, game against UST. That was strange. Uh, I, I saw uh, Coach Ramil saying something like maybe they were still in cloud nine mm -hmm. after beating Ateneo. Yeah. Ano nangyari sa game na yun kung bakit nadapa sila after it's what should have been a big win exactly. to boost them even higher. Exactly. It should have been the follow-up to Yunai. the statement mm. win. Pero um, maybe that's a major thing, you know, with cloud nine celebrating Could still. Be, but uh. I mean, for a team with such experience, uh, La Salle, Mica Reyes, you've got Kim Pardo, mm. they've been there, they've been to the finals. For them to be on cloud nine and stay there, until the next game, that's a little too to me, long. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's it's wrong. It's a little weird as well. So, um, but it, it, there is no other way to explain it. It's mm -hmm. kind of mind-boggling to imagine a five and one team that gave Ateneo their first loss of the mm -hmm. season will lose to a low ranking and the team. way they lost and the way the they sweep. lost well, you know, actually, actually it's, it's 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 that diba? it's the sweep mm -hmm. so but i guess that also goes to show you that the this this season is wide open mm -hmm. so many teams so many great players and really things can turn around on you after a set if you're not careful all right and last but not least of course ateneo they are six and one they had a great run of six mm -hmm. games but they did show some cracks in the wall. The uh, natin when you guessed it with before uh, losing to Lasalle. How can they learn from everything in the first round and maybe change things up in the second round to even be better? Well, not they don't need to panic mm -hmm. right now. I mean, at six and one, they're in a really good position. They're mm -hmm. still leading the standings. Um, I guess I, I don't know about the learnings, but it showed their weaknesses. Uh, yeah. uh, fix them. That's what Coach uh, Tai Bundit will have to deal mm -hmm. with. Uh, Eliza Valdez. If for her to do so many things on the floor, that would be a that would cause a big problem para sa Ateneo. Their mm -hmm. offense will break down if if Eliza has to do so much. So yeah. the, all the other players have to step up. Although De Leon. some key players are stepping up, De Leon, Maraginot, but defensively as a team, they have to be collective in terms of floor De defense and reception because that was key. When Eliza was given all the serves Correct. from La Salle, dun, dun na 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 yeah. and that might just show uh, the blueprint for the other teams how exactly. to beat or really push uh, to Ateneo to the limit. All right, Eric, maraming salamat. All the more we can wait for round number My two. Pleasure. Salamat, salamat. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.